This is what happens when Reggie leaves the company. Are you happy, Miyamoto? Is your little fire Pikmin happy about that? I mean, it's a it's an okay system. Nande so? Why am I here? So the Nintendo Switch Mini, excuse me, the Nintendo Switch Lite after months of rumors has finally been announced. I thought maybe I'd do a quick video and give my thoughts on the system along with thousands of other people giving their thoughts on the system because you know, YouTube. So without further ado, let's do this. I, I don't know. Why hello? The Nintendo Switch Lite is a console, excuse me again, a handheld that can play all of your favorite Switch games but in a smaller and sleeker form factor. And after doing a bit of research, there are some things I like. And there are also some questionable decisions made here. First off, the price. The price for the Nintendo Switch Lite will be $199.99 and that is amazing. I was a bit worried that it was going to fall somewhere between the realm of 250 but this is perfect. But in order to reach this low of a price, there were some things missing. Things like detachable Joy-Cons, their IR cameras, the HD rumble, okay, these things make sense but one of the biggest drawbacks that the Switch Lite comes with is the ability to dock the system. Why can't you dock the system? It can't be. It wouldn't have mattered if the Switch Lite didn't come with a dock or HDMI cable, I still feel like the option should have been there. I play my Switch docked on my TV most of the time. Part of the reason why I never play a handheld that much is because, well, it's pretty bulky and expensive. I've only recently been playing it in portable mode so I can make levels in Mario Maker 2, but other than that, I just use it on the TV. I know there's plenty of people who use the Switch mostly portably, and that's fine. But because the Switch Lite can't be docked, that leads me into the next issue, which is that not all games will be supported. This is sort of whatever to me because the games that won't be supported for the Switch Lite are games like Super Mario Party 1, 2, Switch, and just, just dance. So unless you really like those games, I guess this isn't the console for you. I mean, you can still play them if you connect wireless Joy-Cons, but if you're doing that, then what's the point? Just buy an actual Switch. The battery life sucks. It claims to be a minimum of 3 hours which is basically the same thing, who cares. The screen again is 720p which is fine but really the only thing this console has going for me is the small form factor. Like I said before, I don't like using my Switch portably because it's too big and bulky. And again, it's expensive. I do wish I did use it more though. Being able to play games like Skyrim on the go is fantastic and I've done it before but again, it's inconvenient. Will I get it? No. And am I excited? Not really. But I do know that there's a bunch of people clamoring for a system like this, so to them, I'm glad you got your wish. Also, can we talk about the reveal video? Why is there a kid taking a skateboard to a skate park just to play on his Nintendo Switch? I do rock climbing and Zelda climb likes to climb things, I'll go play Zelda now. Reggie just straight up spoils The Last Kingdom for Mario Odyssey, okay. Spaceman likes to play on Switch, that's good to know. Oh yeah, and it's got a, it's got a D-pad, that's, that's pretty cool. Good job, Yoshiaki Koizumi, you're a pretty good man. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. 